Hey guys, I'm Bradley, and today we're going to be talking about, oh, shoot, what is it? Ah, it's, it's like when you, when you think, and it, it, but it, when the, when you're, it's like it's, when it's not clear, it's kind of, oh yeah, brain fog. You know brain fog, it's what you call that experience when you can't quite access your brain to find that word or, or memory or expression to communicate, and man, it can be so frustrating. Now you might even think, oh man, that's just me getting old, but guess what? Turns out, when you experience brain fog, poor metabolic health could be the cause. Now, everyone deals with days when we're not feeling as sharp as usual, right? But if you often find yourself zoning out and feeling sluggish or, or just absent-minded, you might be dealing with what clinicians call brain fog. So this term embodies a variety of symptoms, including lack of focus and clarity, difficulty recalling information, and mental fatigue. And sure, these problems can be mild and common in temporary situations like you didn't get enough sleep or you're taking certain medications. That being said, long-term instances of brain fog are also common and could indicate more serious health issues. So chronic brain fog in many cases can be attributed to poor metabolic health. This is great. We know this. And this indicates an issue with how our body is using and storing glucose. Sure, you know that glucose is absolutely essential for your body and your brain to do its job. In fact, the brain consumes about 20% of it to support high energy activities involved in mental processing and bodily regulation. But just like grandma said, too much of a good thing can be a problem too, because despite how important glucose is to our cells, too much blood glucose can cause issues that lead to struggles with word recall, verbal memory, and a faster decline in brain function. These conditions, among others, have been observed in numerous studies on people with and without diabetes. But we've got good news. There are lots of ways, of course, to help the body work against the processes that lead to brain fog, and here are three. Number one, avoid drugs and alcohol. I know, I know, but listen, this is a big first step, as studies have shown that even moderate drinking is linked to shrinkage in the hippocampus, which is the area of brain involved in cognition and learning. Number two, try intermittent fasting. This limits the number of hours you spend eating each day and it may help ease brain fog by improving the flexibility of your metabolism. And finally, and perhaps the most powerful way to have a positive impact on your brain is to eat for stable blood sugar. See, research shows that pursuing stable glucose may improve cognitive function, even in people with diabetes. So what does that mean? We should avoid those foods that are high in processed carbs and sugar and choose whole foods rich in micronutrients like vegetables, healthy fats, and animal protein instead. So there you have it. Of course, we still have a long way to go before we clear up the mystery that is brain fog, but data has shown that healthy diet and lifestyle choices play a huge role in strengthening our bodies and moderating cognitive problems. So pursuing optimal metabolic health could be the key to kicking brain fog, staying sharp, and living a life filled with more clarity and purpose. Sounds pretty good to me. Want to learn more? Head to the link in the description for our full-length blog post and make sure to follow us on social media to see more ways food affects our health. Thanks for watching. Back to my coffee.